And Olympic competition continues. Once again, Lynn Cannon. One of the most popular sports in the summer games will take place here in the Superdome. Gymnastics. Every Olympics, it seems to take more twists, flips, and turns to win gold. Dawn Fratangelo reports on how the athletes keep pushing the boundaries of biology and gravity. She was the perfect combination of agility, strength, and speed. In 1984 in Los Angeles, Mary Lou Retton made Olympic history. A vault with one full flip and a twist in the layout position. A perfect 10. She had great speed down the runway. And when you take that short, compact, and forceful body and, and make it dynamic, then you become a great vaulter, perhaps one of the best vaulters in history. She does the same thing. No American woman had ever scored a perfect 10 before, but now experts say that very same vault would not earn Retton a spot on this year's Olympic team. Today, the best gymnasts can do two flips, and they're working toward more. You should see the rivalry, the performance, and also the incentive to go further. Bring them together, that the fire is burning. But it takes more than a burning desire to make great gymnasts. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle with the fundamental principles of physics. Biomechanics expert Ben Johnson studies the motion and mechanics of the human body. Many gymnasts don't realize it, but they are, in fact, uh, physicists or biomechanists. In their fight against gravity, gymnasts must master physical forces that affect their every move, acceleration, momentum, lift. The, the gymnast is turning themselves into a ball that flies through the air. Their body's the ball, and they have to generate the forces with their hands or feet to project that ball through the air and to have it spin and travel the appropriate distances. A tumbling pass or vault approach involves three basic physical principles. Linear speed. The gymnast runs down the runway to generate momentum. When she hits the springboard, she converts that momentum into vertical momentum and finally into rotational momentum to execute the flips and land in control. Back in 1984, Mary Lou Retton ran head-on to the horse, hitting the springboard with two feet and flying forward. Much less powerful than the round-off backhand spring approach gymnasts use today. Okay, here's Kristen coming down the runway, building up horizontal momentum. They are converting their linear momentum earlier along the runway when they do the round off back handspring into the springboard. Gymnasts carry that momentum from the springboard into the horse, generating more vertical momentum. Increased vertical momentum means more time in the air. The more time in the air, the more time to complete more spins. Without the tumbling approach, Renton could not generate that early rotational momentum. So even with her tremendous strength and speed, she could not gain the height that today's gymnasts do. In fact, today's gymnasts get about a foot higher off the horse than Renton did. But what if she had used today's approach? I can only imagine Mary Lou might be the first one to do that triple somersault. So what are the limits for a gymnast with the power of Mary Lou Retton and today's momentum generating approach? Is it possible to vault to three flips, maybe even four? You've got to do one somersault, two somersaults, or three somersaults. Unlike in diving, you can't do a half. Two and a half would be suicide for a gymnast. So it's a fairly large leap to go from two to three. Will it be done? Probably. Will it be done soon? possibly. Jump! Up. Gymnasts are already pushing the limits in the floor exercise, a 90-second test of endurance, athleticism, and artistry, where they perform some of their most awe-inspiring moves. These days, the world's best gymnasts perform the triple twist, three complete rotations on the long axis of the body. But coaches say even three is not the limit. Three and a half on nice. four quadruple on floor as far as twisting and we'll probably end up in our lifetime seeing five. The most challenging moves performed by the most athletic gymnasts. The fastest, strongest, most agile. Gymnasts who deliver performances that seemingly defy the laws of physics. And that's the nature of our sport. It's the woman or the man that can fly the highest, do the most flips and twists at the same time, 
and make it look easy. Who makes it look the easiest? That's the best gymnast.